Alright, so first day of cardio, like I said yesterday, um, we're going to increase the level to level 7 and uh, just uh, crush the session. My advice for you guys on cardio is you're going to do 20, 30, whatever time you're going to do for cardio, get the most out of it. Um, don't be one of those people that just get in a, get in a machine and kind of be just to check in, you know, hey, uh, yeah, I kind of got my cardio, I got those 20 minutes in, but did you really get the most out of it? I see a lot of people get in the machine, put in whatever time they put in, and they're almost sleepy in the machine and hanging on to it for dear life. Um, instead of doing a stair stepper, they do an isolated uh, tricep holders or dip holding. <laughs> Um, so, I'm telling you guys, 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes are going to pass by quick. You're either going to get something out of it, or you're going to barely get something out of it. The choice is yours, you know. Whatever you decide, you're going to get. You know, that's one thing about um, getting in shape. It's, it's all about the decision and how bad you want it. You kind of want it. You like the idea. But be in shape, or you really want to, you do whatever it takes to get in shape, the best shape of your life. I'm not talking about in shape, kind of fetish or fetish shape, where you kind of fit, kind of shape. I'm talking about the, the shape where you go and you take your shirt off, and you go, holy cow, that person looks good. Let's get this done. You done with fitness? Cardio time. I'm gonna do the cardio. So manual. Enter. We're gonna wait. And what we're gonna do is 30 minutes. Level 7. But here's a trick, guys. You're not gonna hold on to any handles and just take a deep steps. That's what we do. 30 minutes. It's not high level. That will burn your roots out, quads, hamstrings, will actually make you work. So you just hang out, sheet, for the neck and chin. Alright? Get it done. Yes, cardio is done. One thing I recommend you guys do, even before cardio, check your ego. You know, you don't have to turn on the full level uh, stair stepper and hold on to it like a sheep, barely breathing, but not getting anything out of the work. You know, <clears throat> try to get the most of it. Try to be as efficient as possible, even with cardio, training, and diet. Okay. By the way, say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> the birdie's still chilling with us. <laughs> All right, guys. One thing I recommend you do if you have a, like a lagging body part or you have like part that does not grow much. What I suggest you guys do is uh, get deep tissue massage. For me, um, my back, I have a hard time uh, contracting my back really, really tight compared to like, my chest, uh, my biceps, um, legs. I could do one set and I could have a full pump you know, in my, that muscle. For my back, it takes a really, really long time to get a pump because you just cannot get the same blood flow, same contraction compared to my other body parts. So what I do is I get deep tissue massages and uh, try to break down the scar tissue for over the years that you broke down and uh, didn't heal right and for me it tends to help get a better pump in uh, the area so every week once a week i get a deep tissue massage it's not always back sometimes if uh, i have a hard training session a week before of legs or uh, chest i'll work on that body part trying to kind of um, break down the scar tissue and keep everything nice and uh, smooth and so your muscles could uh, contract uh, exactly how they should be instead of you know uh, having uh, scar tissue there and not be able to contract the muscle or something like that okay so that's what I suggest you guys do so every week I have a great masseuse um, or a therapist that does it for me and uh, today we're gonna do actually hamstrings because I'm training uh, legs uh, tomorrow hamstrings and when do lats and traps because that's where I feel the tightness most okay so 
one recommendation you guys could try and do. All right, peace out. All right, Monday night after a long day of work, got to make some steaks and asparagus. In the summer, it's so easy to you know stay eating clean because you have a grill. There's nothing really to make on a grill that's unhealthy and or low calorie. So we got New York strip steak. I'm gonna trim some fat off of it and enjoy it. It's about gonna come out to about nine ounces each. Asparagus, probably all of it. This one's for food prep for tomorrow. So it's easy to eat. Look at the sexy woman dancing ready. One glass of wine and she's ready dancing. She looks pretty though. What are you doing? Nothing. Huh? So we're starting our uh, week four cutting phase. <laughs> uh, week four of cutting phase. Not, not much changes are uh, going to be made when it comes to nutrition. You know, keep the same nutrition because everything's working great right now. Um, there's not um, no plateaus going on. I'm still losing weight. The only thing that's going to change is my training. Uh, the training is going to be more intense now. We're going to bring up more supersets, more drop sets uh, during the training phase. And also the cardio will increase the level instead of time. So instead of level 7 a stair step, we're going to go level 8. And instead of uh, level 12 on the hit, we're going to go level 14. Okay, so the intensity is going to raise up, but nutrition stays the same. We're going to finish up some grill grilling right now um, on the, my day off my calories stay the same I don't change my calories because um, I need my body to recover because I train six times a week and uh, I don't want to get to a point where my body's not recovering and start breaking that muscle now so on, tra on nine training days calories stay the same I drop the carbs increase the fats my calories stay the same protein stay the same all right so we're gonna go enjoy this dinner and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for cardio. Peace out. Another good morning for some cardio. Um, you guys can see the time. And if you guys notice the other videos, it's every single morning, the same exact time I leave to the gym. That's what creates habits, you know, doing the same thing, you know, over repetitive time. Eventually you will get used to it and you won't be even thinking about it. Like at this point, I wake up at 5.05, you know, I brush my teeth, I put my hoodie on, I take my uh, burner, uh, get my BCAs and uh, loosen ready and I'm good to go. Um, I don't even think about it, it's just part of a habit. So, um, great habits guys, great healthy habits great good habits in your life and uh, it doesn't have to be in the gym you know uh, it's anything that you want to be successful at you know uh, marriage relationships um, business anything like that if you want to be successful at it you got to create habits um, and they got to be good habits too it's funny because uh, every time I come here in the morning, there's a bird that's always sitting here and like sitting right same time, right same place. <laughs> it's so cool. And it's a little pigeon and uh, I don't know what it means, but every time I'm here, it's here for the last uh, month or so it's been here and it's kind of cool. I'm going to show you. It's right here. But say hello to my little friend. It's just chilling. Just hopefully it doesn't shit on my car. But there's my buddy. What's up, dude? How we doing? Please don't shit my car. Please do not poop my car. Okay? We'll like you. I'll bring some food next time. You have a good morning. But yeah, he's just chilling here. And if I want to leave, he's going to be here too. Alright. Two weeks left of the cop phase. Let's see what we're looking like. Small changes in the midsection, so everything's coming together real well. One pound down, one and a half actually, so there's progress. Two more to go, two pounds to go, two weeks left. Let's do it. 